In this video, we want to look at what we call the crossover frequencies. There are two crossover frequencies that we're interested in. One is the gain crossover frequency, and one is the phase crossover frequency. The gain crossover frequency, mostly referred to as omega g, is defined as the value where if I were to uh, calculate the magnitude of k times g of j omega, and that magnitude is equal to 1. And this comes from looking at the Nyquist plot. If we have the real part and the imaginary part, and we calculate, say, for some particular uh, transfer function, the Nyquist plot looks something like this, and then that's at minus 1 then the frequency at which the distance from that point to the back to the origin, that distance is equal to 1, that would be where the gain crossover happens. The phase crossover frequency, often referred to as omega p, happens when the phase of g, uh, k times g of j omega p is equal to minus 180 degrees. And we again see this from the Nyquist plot. We plot the real versus the imaginary part of this function, k of j, k times g of j omega. And let's say here is minus 1. If we have the same kind of uh, Nyquist plot, then the phase crossover frequency happens down here where the phase to that point is minus 180 degrees. As we saw before, the Bode plot gives a lot of the same kind of information as the Nyquist plot. So let's go ahead and use MATLAB to see how we can find the gain and phase crossover frequency using the Bode plot. We can use the Bode plot to calculate gain and phase crossover frequencies. We're going to see in class that we can also turn, talk about gain and phase margin. But first, let's just look at the crossover frequencies. If I go ahead and first define a transfer function, and I kind of just picked this out of a hat as uh, 4 over s to the third plus 2s squared plus 4s plus 1. I can, I can certainly use the Bode command to generate the Bode plot. And if I put the grid on, we can see what I end up with. And OK, that's great. But what I'd like to do is calculate the co crossover frequencies. So when the gain of the transfer function is equal to 1, that's at 0 dB. So when this curve crosses through 0 dB, that would be the gain crossover frequency. And the phase is calculated when I cross through minus 180 degrees. So if I follow the phase curve and come down here, I see, ah, there's the phase crossover frequency. Now, notice that this is it's a lot easier to get the gain and phase crossover frequency off the Bode plot than it would be off the Nyquist plot. The equivalent Nyquist plot for this system is given by that. Let me throw up the, the, big, the Bode plot as well and compare. Notice it's a little difficult to pick off exactly where the gain crossover frequency happens. It's a, uh, a little easier to get the, the phase crossover frequency because it always happens when I go through the real axis. But it turns out there's an even better command that we can use called margin. And if I pass the transfer function into the margin command, let me put the grid on, then not only does it plot the Bode plot here, but it also calculates the gain and phase margin for you. So notice this curve here, this is the magnitude part, goes through 0 dB, and then it drops down this dashed line down to here, and it tells you that that gain, uh, we're going to talk about these margins here, but the this frequency at which I go through the gain crossover happens at 1.37 radians per second. That's this value here. This uh, phase crossover happens, we can read it off as 1 and then 2, 2 radians per second, so it's this line right here. And notice that lines up with what's going on in here. Now we're going to see in class how these margins, gain margin and phase margin, relate to the gain and phase crossover frequencies. 